So now we're seeing the whole base of the flap sitting there like that. This is the normal cartilage on the other side. So you can see this flap all bumped up and protruding. Now it hasn't torn free completely, but it's elevated up and it's moving and loose. Oh, good and that's what it causes was, the pain. It was actually, wasn't it actually a good thing that it hadn't torn loose? Um, isn't, it, is it was, that it was you... good for me and you that it hadn't broken up and disperse itself because that's the when the damage starts really well happen, no isn't no it? no we would never have found the pieces yeah. all the oh, pieces okay. so if it's bigger like this it means i can get it out completely rather than it disintegrating and being left with flotsam and jetsam floating through the joint because you can't get to all the areas of the joint without then rolling over re-prepping and it goes on and on and on so it's, did it's, you find many fragments in I there found no, fragments. No, no fragments no fragments and this is actually my jaws of my instrument coming in i'm grabbing grabbing the flap i'm right on top of it that's why it's so close right. um, so i'm grabbing that flap in the jaws and you'll see here there's a clinical case they show in this textbook as well that's there's there, see there's one of the flaps this is another case here see how that flap is elevated right up mm -hmm. um, yours hadn't elevated so far and this is after the flaps removed if you look on this next one here see there's their graspers in here same type of graspers see they're grabbing pieces out like that exactly the same as we did yesterday oh sorry me, you're right mate. sorry guys so let's look at the next one. I was right on top of that one. So, and there we are there. So you can see a little bit more. See how I'm grabbing the flap. It's inside the jaws of the instrument. And there's the little bit of exposed bone of where it's coming off. And then I basically put the flap in. I change those instruments and I gradually peel it up around the outside so I can try and get it all up and out without it disintegrating off. Now I often tear it in half and then pull one half and then pull the other half which is what I've learned to do. When I started doing arthroscopy 10 years ago, I, it was always like, maybe I'll try and get the whole piece in one. And you realize that you actually, that's just ego, it's, that's not, you know, what's right. So now I'm more careful, I try and just get whatever I can, but don't break it up and send it off into the rest of the joint. So you, how many, how many pieces? Did I you took it out in, in three different pieces, um, two major ones and one minor one. Here we are again, I'm just grabbing it there, I'm just trying to pull it out. It's hard to take pictures and uh, do it at the same time. My hands are very busy and I need my technician to hold the leg exactly still in the right place. And Ugo did a great job. So here I am grabbing another piece of fragment off here. This is the bone underneath, okay? You can see where the flap was sitting. This is drops down. That's the edge of the crater right there. So this is the whole crater that it came out of. This is the edge of the crater there. And I'm just pulling out the last piece of the flap there. Oh. So this is the... Sorry. The that you'll see it again it's got okay. plenty of shots. that's the bottom of where the lesion was yes that's, this is good stuff right this right this, this bone here no it's, it was this or, basically sitting like this right and we've taken it out and right. we've got the bone underneath the exposed bone which is called subchondral bone and that's what you drilled in yes to. and i'll show you all that i took pictures okay. of the whole thing so then this is the burr and you can see it looks like a big auger and we're using that and this is the crater from here across to there so you can see it's not that wide and this is the edge of it. I'm using this to smooth out this bone area here, remove this little bit of residual cartilage that there, this little loose stuff here, and get to a nice smooth bone surface. And so this spins around, takes it off, and then we suck it out at the same time. It's a combination of both. So let's see where that goes. And so then we did that. And this is what this is the micro picking or farage. Um, it's interesting, when you look at that instrument, this is so blown up. This is a smooth instrument. You can't even see the pitting and corrosion on the surface of that instrument. But what I'm doing is I'm drilling holes down into the bone, as we talked about, for the new blood vessels to come up and the new stem cells to come up. So that's just part farage. And we're lucky to get that in there. It's a tight little joint. And, and, and How many? Preparations I put three ones right down there because it's quite narrow. So in boom, 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 Great. divided into thirds basically. So there's one here. You can't really see it that well. One here. And what I'm doing is now you can see the blood that's coming up out. Right so that away. means that we're effective in restoring blood supply out of the bone, and, and the vessels will follow, and then the stem cells will follow the vessels. So we put three crates. So this that's is, a good. Yeah, absolutely. Great sign. This is the top of the crater here coming down. So that's really nearly the whole lesion right there. Um, let's have one more look at it from this view. 
I'm uh, just looking to make sure it's smooth and looks good. There, as you can see, there's the top of the crater there running around like that. This is the side of the crater coming down here, and there's the other side over there. So it's how a deep, long... How deep was the crater? Uh, looks like it's... A, this is a millimetre and a half here, and this was another millimetre and a half. So about probably a millimetre and a half deep. Mm. Probably three oh, total. One question while we're there on the depth and size of the lesion. Yep. You know how you were saying um, three weeks minimum, but you might say more depending yep. on the size of the lesion. What, what uh, do you I think? I think you probably do, should do a month. I think um, for four me, weeks. I think four to five weeks would probably be a good idea. I want to see you in three weeks and have okay. a feel of the knee, see how, it's, see how the ankle, see how it's going, and then we'll make a final decision on the duration then. Um, this is the whole crater here, and that you can see there, cleaned up really nicely, the whole flaps out. Um, I went back and got that little piece that was a little floater, um, but uh, it was a very 